We always try to figure out what to explore more. On January 3, 2009, the world changed and very few people noticed that someone had invented a system of money that allows everyone in the world to have financial privacy, security, powerful capabilities like never before. We are entering to the world of anonymity and at the same time massive surveillance from the same invention by a system of trust without authority. Imagine a six-year-old kid wants to go to another country for education and don't have anyone. He or she cannot own a bank account until 16. After 2009, no kid will ever live in a world where he cannot own a bank account but are allowing him to have his own bank without a central authority. This is because of distributed ledger technology also known as blockchain. Okay, before we move further, let me explain it. The invention of the internet made the world closer. But due to the middlemen like Google, Amazon Web Services, instead of internet becoming more decentralized, it became more centralized. Amazon Web Services let alone holds 40% of the internet. So when you think of Amazon, you probably think of this ugly website, or maybe Amazon buying Whole Foods and making avocados cheaper. But Amazon also sits behind a huge portion of the internet. It dominates the server-side computers that make the internet work. Right now, you're probably watching this video on a computer or a phone, but when you click play, it isn't just your computer that's doing the work. There's another computer somewhere out there in the world that's sending the video to you, playing it along with you from hundreds of miles away. And a lot of those computers are run by Amazon. Most people online have no idea they're there. Now we do not have total control over the internet because few private companies are running the web. On this massive surveillance, billions of people are turned into trillions of dollars. But after 2009, two people who do not know each other sending money without a trusted party, all it boils down to trust. It's a protocol that decentralizes trust. Instead of a central party verifying trust, like one single bank verifying trust, transactions are being verified in peer-to-peer -peer democratically by consensus. And it's all done automatically by computers in the network. It's not people behind it, it's machine consensus. The same system allows house rentals to rent without Airbnb, online stores without Amazon, car drivers without Uber. I can imagine a future that a self-driving car is not owned by anyone, but by themselves. People will not own cars, cars will own themselves and that will become a service. And now we take this for you a little bit step further. Why do that six-year-old kid need a driving license if the steering of the car can go for itself? Yes, there will be people owning cars and they can take their cars to the racetrack once manually operated vehicle is no longer legal on roads. Due to human errors, we will not be allowed. Cars will run themselves on roads by merging artificial intelligence and blockchain together. But there are many caveats with this technology. Blockchain today is just a memo on the internet. But to forecast it today, it's like the internet in 1990s. And we do not have proper hardware to run it. This amazing technology is so incredible that it is neutral, borderless, censorship resistant, public and transparent. Definitely mutable. You can't have blockchain without distributed computational power and if that happens, and it will happen, we will enter to the world of massive surveillance from the same invention. There is a global war of cash going on. We have reached that point. It is within our grasp, within the vision of the world government to eradicate cash. Being an ultimate peer-to-peer, -peer, transparent, privacy-respecting form of money that allows individuals to transact within their community. In favor of digital form of money on platforms that allow surveillance, control and negative interest rates. 
Google has such a search engine monopoly that if they decided to put your name out of their ranking, you don't exist. They can easily rewrite the entire history just by simply tweaking their algorithm. Private companies will then use the identities on blockchain. Yeah, the more data the blockchain gathers, the better the artificial intelligence will become. That is designed by these companies without distributed computational power, proof of work or proof of stake. And at this point, they will socially rank every single customer and if they do not like you, they can switch your entire life with a flip of a binary digit and you no longer exist as a human. Welcome to the decentralized future, the DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. Now combine governance with money. It becomes really powerful, I want to say. A company without bosses and only employees or a company without employees but only bosses a smart contract that automatically execute rules by machine consensus. Let's take a very further analogy to clarify. Imagine a complete blockchain city where a traffic light stops working. A smart contract will be created, much of which traffic light sends a message to all nearby servicemen, and whoever repairs the light will be paid automatically, if no dispute raised by the people. If all the criteria made by the machine met, this system is so powerful that it cuts all the middlemen because rules are now dictated by machines. When we look at Bitcoin, it's the biggest decentralized autonomous organization. With a market cap of many small nations combined and nobody controls it, it's autonomous. Welcome to liquid democracy. The traditional democratic system allows leaders once they elected to make laws and that affect the entire population. with many find clear objections with their human rights. Liquid democracy allows every single community to vote on every single law even before it comes into play. All these things are possible when we decentralize everything. Artificial intelligence and blockchain are going to be like electricity and everybody is going to use them. When we look at these systems, these systems are designed for governance. And at this point, facial recognition will become the signature for authentication of the currency. In the same way, all the restaurants in your city now registered on blockchain with the dishes they have. Now creating a path between two different blockchains, X, a courier boy, and one another blockchain Y, restaurant. A new system will sooner be developed, where food delivery companies will not exist and delivery agents can pick orders from restaurant and deliver it to you. Take another example. Imagine a police inspector has done a crime and FIR has been registered against him. But by using his contacts, he can remove his name from the paperwork very easily or traditional computer systems. But blockchain technology allows system to be registered independently. Once it's written as a criminal record, it cannot be altered using censorship because it's immutable. And we have to do it for the people who suffer the most are invisible. They have no voice. The internet made it possible when there is no need for a phone company, when Skype made phone call for free by an open source application. This is going to happen again. With companies like YouTube, Amazon, Airbnb will sooner be out of business and many more. Or either they will create a token on blockchain to reward users, advertisers and creators independently. The combination of blockchain and AI can read my X-ray medical report better than my doctor because artificial intelligence was having one key ingredient missing, data, to understand things and now blockchain has it covered. The blockchain has data for all the patients that solves the problem for AI to understand. 
now we enter to another big situation there will be very few jobs that a machine won't be able to do what can we do to protect ourselves from robot automation? The CEO explained that machines will replace traditional labor. This is all about artificial intelligence and how much faster it can process. Human labor is never going to be cheaper as we get more advanced. So we're just going to have to adjust to that and deal with the results. For 3.3 million years, humans have developed technologies to make our lives easier. These inventions made us more efficient. It meant we didn't have to spend as much effort working to survive. But each new development came at a cost. When bronze tools were invented, all the guys who made stone tools were driven out of work. And when iron tools came along, all of the bronze workers lost their jobs. When the Industrial Revolution hit, it wiped out the livelihoods of millions of cobblers and weavers who had to adapt or get left behind. And this process continues today. Only now it's happening faster. Much, much faster. I know for a lot of you it is difficult to handle. But at this point we have to introduce, or at some point, we have to introduce the universal basic income. So we continue to explore. Not because we want to, but because we have to. Just want to end by saying, I, as a human, trusted machines more than humans. Because we started to abuse power. Once we get it. Unto those who don't. I also fear the day when technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. And as always, thanks for watching.